Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing another everyday office video. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about creating an index in your Word document. Most people are focused on the table of contents, uh, and to create a table of contents, you use styles throughout your document. But here, if you want an index, an area at the end of your document that says, if you're looking for these terms, if you're looking for these ideas, here's where you'll find them, then you need an index. And to create an index, you need to manually tag the items that are going to show up in your index. So this is where you need to look for key phrases. A lot of times you'll use the find feature, control F, or on the home tab, the find button right here, to be able to find, you know, let's say for example, the term video, for example. All right, so then you find the term video in your document and you say, okay, every time the word video comes up, I wanna tag that and I want people to know where they can find that idea. But of course, if you're not looking for a single word or if looking for one word is not nearly specific enough, well then we need to be able to isolate an idea or a theme, maybe manually going through here and highlighting stuff. So let's say we highlight this uh, idea here for different galleries, right? The different galleries. And we want people to be able to go back and find every time we reference the different galleries in Microsoft Word. So we highlight the term, the different galleries right here. And on the references tab at the top of the screen, you see that index is the second segment, second group from the end. And you see besides insert index, which is the smaller of the buttons, we have being able to mark the entries. So uh, I'll click on mark entry. If you note this here, if you make enough indices, uh, alt shift X might be a keyboard shortcut you wanna put in your toolbox. For me, I don't make enough indices. I just don't, so marking entry using this button makes a lot more sense. So I click on mark entry and it says, okay, um, currently, you are talking about the term, the different galleries. So we'll make an entry called the different galleries, all lowercase. I think what I'll do instead is I'll put in here different galleries in Word, right? And I'll say, okay, uh, this is the current page. And if I go in here and I want to uh, format this in a particular way, bold or italics, I can do that. And then notice right down here, you could say, go through my document and find everything that matches with this and mark every single one of them. Now, because this is repetitive content, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit mark. And what you notice here is it turns on, let me click close here. It turns on when you go to the home tab, this show and hide markers button. And you can also see this little XE different galleries in Word tacked onto from the different galleries right there. Now let's go in and let's mark something else. So I will turn this off and let's highlight apply styles. And again, using the uh, references tab at the top of the screen, I can click on mark entry or alt shift X and I can tell it this is applying styles and click mark. And you can see it puts that in there and again shows you the markers. I'll click close here. Now let's think through uh, another type of idea. So there's applying styles and there is, uh, what was the other one? Uh, different galleries in Word. Now we'll go over here to page number three. And in page number three, we'll do header, footer, cover page. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll say that I want to have a major area called headers and footers, and under that, an area called header and an area called footer. So I'll mark this word header. Go to references, click on mark entry, and what I'll do here is I'll make the main entry headers and footers, and the sub-entry that we're talking about here to be headers, and click Mark. And then I'll go down here a little ways further, maybe to page number seven, and I'll find the word footer. And again, mark the entry. I'll make the main entry headers and footers with the sub-entry of footer, and click Mark. 
there it is. So now when I click close, I can go to the end of the document and I can add my index. So I'll go down here to the very bottom, go to references and just click on insert index. And uh, as you can see here, it says, okay, uh, we could do a two column index. We could have it indented, right? So atmosphere with earth underneath atmosphere. Uh, we could right align the page numbers. You know, there's a lot of different formatting choices uh, that we can go with. Fancy is always, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'll click on okay. And notice here it's made two columns. And right here it says applying styles is on page Roman numeral two, different galleries in Word, Roman numeral one. Headers and footers has two sub ideas under it, footers on page seven and headers on page three. And so that's how you mark items for your index and create an index at the end.